As I sit here, north of the Arctic Circle, in the middle of nowhere Alaska, editing the images that we have captured over the past few weeks, I'm looking for the words to explain how we got here, in the middle of a pandemic, with chaos, division, and uncertainty across our country. How do I tell you our story when the world's story seems to be falling apart? Let's start this off where we last left you at Bertha Creek Campground. After we spent some time in the southern coastal playground of Alaska known as the Kenai Peninsula, we played with eagles, ember went swimming, we viewed wildlife, and we went beach combing for miles. We had to make a decision on whether or not we wanted to continue south towards the town of Seward or turn around and head north towards the interior of Alaska. And to get to the interior of Alaska meant that we had to pass through the city of Anchorage, which has a population of about 350,000 people. When you're away from people for a period of time, it's an eerie feeling to return to public spaces and try to recall the current etiquette of humanity. In a world of unrest and uncertainty, beauty and peace can still be found. You only have to step outside, take a look around, and look at the world with your own eyes. You can tell us in the comments section below. When you step outside, what do you see? Good morning, everyone. So we've just passed through Anchorage, and we're heading north. We restocked with some supplies and groceries. And our goal today is to get up to Fairbanks. As you can see, the weather is kind of dreary today. It's cloudy and rainy. So we decided to go ahead and do this at one shot. And officially today, the state of Alaska has reopened to stage four, which means all businesses are back to normal operations. Each year, over 600,000 people visit Denali National Park, and as you can imagine, most of these people are from out of state. With the borders closed, Denali is a ghost town. As Jim said, Alaska may be trying to return to normal, but hundreds and thousands of people's dreams of coming to Alaska to fish to board a cruise, to book a tour, their dreams were crushed this year, and not to mention the effect of our state's economy in the long term. Nothing has felt normal or even real while driving through the park. It felt sleepy and tired and ready to wake up from this dream. As we continue north through the town of Healy into Fairbanks, we can't help but notice that there's very few RVs, no tour buses, and the 49th State Brewing Company, which is usually a bustling business this time of year, is closed. Will this remain the normal? We don't think so. Time. 
game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. Eyes on the goal, don't lose control. I'm living fast, I've lost my soul. I'm driving to get away. Running through emotions, I alone. I'm super excited to be back number one in my hometown but number two I think we're getting ready to go do something really fun we just drove six hours for dinner <laughs> it'll be worth it Everybody else had the same idea. Okay. It's, okay. it's been over three months since we have been out to eat, or since we've eaten anything that somebody else has cooked other than ourselves. Uh, super excited to be going to the banks and hopefully having an elk burger. There's a lot of people here, so um, Ember's gonna keep the van safe and we'll let you know how this goes. We waited about 30 minutes and chose a table outside and braved the wind in an oncoming storm, but our first draft beers went down smooth and our appetizer of buffalo cheese fries hit the spot. Our waiter was busy but thorough and I could tell that he is trying to find his rhythm again. The elk burgers arrived and I wish you could see the smile on my face because I may never know what Jim has up his sleeve or what's happening from one day to the next, but when we do something like this, it just reminds us that for me, this is a very simple thing that today made me happy. It's still up there? Ember, what is that? What is it? Walmart. What kind of things do you smell in the Walmart parking lot? Here we are, ending the night at everyone's favorite place. Yes, that's right. We're at Camp Walmart. It has a much different feel this year than last year. As you can see, it's almost completely empty of anybody in an RV or van. We're going to end this video here. Have a great night. Make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below while we all wait patiently and hopefully unify together during this time in history you have to remember your story everybody's story matters we must try to define for ourselves what is normal in our next video jim ember and myself 
continue our journey north to explore the gates of the Arctic and take you on an adventure while we explore an area of Alaska very few get to see. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe.